This video tutorial covers the process of using the checkout gadget to add electronic catalog capability to your site. So we begin in Google Sites for your account uh, and I'm going to select the Kentucky Classics Online that has been the store we've been using as we've gone along to illustrate this site. And you can see what it's going to look like roughly. This, this is a, a catalog based on the checkout store gadget and so we're going to create our own. So let's start by editing that page and coming down here to the instructions. Begin by selecting Google Checkout and following that link. And here's where you have the opportunity to create the store information that you need uh, to pull this together. So for your organization, you need to specify a bank account in which payments will be made. And you have a chance to use the Settings button to enter all the information about the organization uh, that you want to display and, and where shipping is and, and all sorts of things like that. So uh, for now, uh, we'll stop and, and fill that in until you're ready to go. So now you're back and you have your store information set up and the account set up uh, and now we're going to work to the process of creating a checkout link so now we move to the store gadget that's the second link down and we follow this link to create the online store uh, in this particular case uh, you're going to grant access on number two to, to go on uh, and then select the merchant account type and we're going to use the production account setting uh, and you'll automatically uh, populate that uh, as dollars. So once that connection has been made we move on to the next field uh, and in this window uh, we're going to use th this, this identifies the spreadsheet that we're going to use to create uh, the data source. Now the one I'm going to use is store inventory. I already have that set up uh, and you can see that it's been verified. What you will do is use this approach to create a new inventory spreadsheet and you provide the name of that spreadsheet and it creates it in your Google accounts. Now the one thing other addition I wanted to show you here uh, is that what's going to happen is that there's going to be a spreadsheet created in your Google Docs account. Uh, it's going to be a uh, like an Excel spreadsheet, but these are going to be the titles of the various columns. Uh, and these are the things, the pieces of information that you'll fill in about each item that you have for sale. Uh, and it's going to be, this is going to be the data source that it's going to come from. Uh, let me, the data source I'm going to use is called Store Inventory though you can create a new one on your own that creates a document in your uh, Google Docs. That's what happened. That's where the store inventory one came from. So let me select that and then open that in a new window. And you can see the structure of the spreadsheet that underlies the catalog. So I have the SKU, the title, the price description. I have one of each of these in inventory. Uh, and then I have uh, additional factors for uh, weight and shipping. There are no options and this is not a digital product so it won't be delivered that way. So now let me add a new item to show you how that works. I simply put it in. Uh, the one I have left to do is a jade vase. Uh, I really like this so I'm going to $600 for it. Uh, ancient just simply call it an ancient jade vase. Uh, I have one of those available. Uh, it weighs um, seven, three quarters of a pound uh, and shipping is also going to be six dollars for that. Now the only side the thing I have left to show you here how this works uh, is, the, uh, is, is the image link. Uh, and that's kind of an odd one so let me show you how that goes. Um, here's what happens. Uh, you create the pictures for all the products that you're going to sell. Uh, and then we upload those to the to your uh, Google Sites location. Uh, and we do that by clicking insert image. Uh, and as you can see, I've already uploaded all the ones uh, for that I'm going to need for the catalog. Uh, and, but the way you do it is simply collect, select browse here, select the image that you want to upload, uh, and then it, it uploads it to the site. Uh, but it's an odd way to get it in. I, need, I now have to get the URL for that image. So if I right click on the vase that I'm going to sell and do properties, here now is the URL for that. So I copy that, close this window, cancel this one, back to store inventory, and paste. So now the name of that uh, 
image is in the in the spreadsheet. The last thing I need to do is share this, publish it as a web page, republish now. Now notice it automatically republishes when changes are made. Uh, so now that's ready to go, and I can close that uh, spreadsheet now. So spreadsheet is verified. We're ready to go. It's off to the next one. These are the settings of the what the gadget is going to look like. Now here's the way we do it. Depending on how I have this set up, uh, I can copy uh, this code and paste it in the HTML, but because I'm using Google Sites, I can do it a slightly different way. I take this code, and I've copied that. Now let's move back to the online catalog, get out of the image processor. Okay, now I simply move to that location, insert more gadgets. I want to add gadget by URL. This is where I paste the code, hit add. Now I can preview it. Those are the things I want. And now I'm ready to go. I hit save. Now I have two versions of the store. Uh, and as you can see, I need to add some formatting to the price here. Uh, but then I have completed uh, the, the process of a Google checkout uh, catalog. And that concludes this video lesson.